Good morning, everyone. Well, good morning for me. Um, I was just waking up at about three something in the morning. You know, I have to do this through the uh, Zoom. I don't want to forget no detail at all. Um, something that I just probably had one of the most intense dreams of my life. And uh, I need to share it. I need to share it. Um, just preached yesterday on the Antichrist and the spirit of the Antichrist. Lord knows after I preach, I don't think about it. I just go to sleep. And I was just waking up at about three in the morning from a very intense dream with Satan himself. And I know some might hear that, that Satan, you really think Satan, it was maybe just a demon. No, this was Satan himself. As you see, my eyes are red. It's 4.15 4, in the morning. I had a dream I was um, me, the church. We were at a we were at a beach, just having good having a good time. Having a really good time. We were having fun. And as we were at this beach, a huge tsunami wave wave was about to crash over us. And a part of me was worried and concerned. And I said, Man, this huge wave is, is gonna kill us. And my wife was next to me and she said, No, it's not. It's not gonna do anything to us. And the dream I was like, I was it not gonna do nothing? This thing's huge. For some reason, I know that that wave symbolized like tribulation, trials, and stuff. But we were gonna be fine. I knew for some reason the other people that were at the beach they would die, but not us. As this was going on, the wave passed and nothing happened to us. And something told me look into the sky. When I looked into the sky. <clears throat> I saw Satan, and when I'm telling you, he was far, out, and he was traveling, and it's funny because the Bible calls him the morning star, and he literally came crashing to earth almost like a, like a, like a falling star, and literally was far away, and like, let's say this is us, it, it just came super fast, I'm telling you, he was traveling super fast, and he was headed towards the earth, and when I looked, I knew right away. I felt my spirit tell me that Satan coming and he came and he landed right in front of me. Boom, landed right in front of me. And when I tell you I didn't have fear, but in my human nature, I, I got scared. His, if you ask me to explain what he looked like, it's so hard to explain in human terms what he looked like, but just know he was a very intimidating person. And when he stood in front of me, uh, he was there to intimidate us and me. And he said, um, this is my time now. And he said, I have my eyes. I have my eyes on the church. I have my eyes on you guys. And when um, he said that a huge eyeball appeared on his body, a, r a big red eyeball appeared on him. And he said, I have my eye on you. And when I when he said that, he said, I'm eyes on your church. I turned around just to make sure that the whole church was with me. So I felt backed up. And the church was still there, but everyone was hiding behind rocks. You know how the beach, there's rocks and stuff. Everybody was trembling, shaking. And I'm not going to lie to you. I was a bit scared myself. Something inside told me. Don't rebuke. You can't just rebuke him like that because it is his time. His time has come. And when I was thinking about this, I woke up. My wife was even like explaining like how many times the Bible was saying about Jesus that his time had not yet come because Satan has an appointed time. And in the book of Revelation, it says that God will even allow him to make war against God's holy people. So there is a time that belongs to him. And I know in the dream, it wasn't just, I rebuke you, Satan, get out of here. Because I believe that if I did that, he wasn't going to leave. It was his time. And he arrived. And when I turned around, like I said, everybody was hiding behind rocks, shaking. I looked, the only person that was behind me, but kind of behind, like, behind my shoulder was my wife. And she was shaking because um, him arriving, we just knew. Like, this isn't something you just say, I rebuke you and you leave. 
and and I just felt God tell me, you you don't rebuke him, but you stand in front of him. And I was kind of like on a side kind of posture. So I stood straight and the Lord told me stand firm and I stood up and I put my chin up and he he thought it was funny at first. He said, you're going to stand in front of the church. You're going to stand in front of them. And I don't know why that like that happened. I just knew that it was like I was standing in, in like in front, you know, like a, a duck mama duck stands in front of their ducks. I felt that way, but it was more like. I'm standing, but God's standing in front of me. And I stood up and I stood in front of him. And I knew in the dream not to be scared, not to be intimidated. But I also knew there was a sense of level of respect that like, and I, and I know some Christians would say, respect the devil. What are you talking about? You should have went after him. You got to understand that even the archangel, uh, Michael, this is when he wore against Satan. He didn't rebuke him on his own. He said, may the Lord rebuke you. And we, I know we, we cast out demons and we, we come against Satan and his plans. And I agree, but that's like, I knew that in this dream, it was, it was his time. And I don't know if that was because it was tribulation or what, but it was his time. So rebuking him would have done nothing. And um, I stood in front of him. And he looked at me like, oh, you're going to stand in front of me? I said, yeah, I will. And I stood tall. And he says, if you're going to stand in front of them, you're going to die in front of them. And a part of me got a little bit scared. I'm telling you because uh, we talked that we're not this and we're not that. I obviously did not have a spirit of fear, but in my human nature, I was a bit okay, what's he going to do now? And I stood in front with my wife. I said, yeah, I will stand in front of this church. So whatever you're going to do, just like Jesus told Judas, Judas, whatever you're going to do, do it quickly. And when he when I said that to him, he gave me this face like, hmm, all right, we'll see. The dream changed. Now I was in a hotel, a, a hotel place, and for those who know or maybe don't know, me and my wife have been looking for um, a secondary backup location for our church services. And we were looking at um, hotel lobbies. So this was kind of crazy. So we ended up, I mean, I'm sorry, in the conference room at church, at a church. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just like half asleep. <laughs> it was, um, and my wife's in the bathroom laughing at me. But it was not just conference rooms and lobbies. I mean, a conference room at a hotel. We were looking to do services in a conference room. So, but in my dream, we ended up at a lobby at a hotel. And I knew we were having church service there. And the people who were not there for a church service were manifesting demons. I mean, all kinds of ages, young, old, didn't matter your white, Chinese, like whatever you were, people did not understand what was going on, that the power of God when we had our service there was so powerful that in my dream, people in their hotel rooms who were not even at the service could feel the presence of God coming out of the conference room, that they were manifesting demons and they were throwing up and people would walk, you know, the conference room, they usually got doors and multiple rooms. I seen a young group of of of, of guys, a teenage or high school group, age, just walking by, and one of their one of the one of the guys, uh, grabbed his stomach and leaned over, and was like, "I feel sick," and he started, gagging. He didn't understand what was going on with him, and I went up to him. I said, the presence of God is here, and that's why you feel this way. And I said, and you need to be set free. You need to be delivered. And his friends were scared. They were like, what's happening to our friend? I said, he has a demon inside of him, and Jesus has come to set him free. And I put my hand on the guy's back, and I said, come up and out in Jesus' name. And he started throwing up black stuff, this black was coming out of his mouth. And he was leaned over. 
and spirits were coming out and they were confused. They're like, is the demon his throw up? Because they were not. That's how I know the message of deliverance. God has shown me to keep talking about it because people were clueless of what was going on or what it was or how it worked. And I was explaining and he was getting delivered. Then I walked by another hotel room and some, this Asian man, probably in his late 70s, 80s, was staying there. And he was manifesting and was throwing up. Sometimes we, we forget about the older generation, but he was manifesting in his hotel room. And I said, be free in Jesus' name. And I seen spirits just start coming out of him. As this was going on, um, it's, uh, for those who know who John Ramirez is, which is a Christian who was a former Satanist, you know, warlock, whatever you want to call him, showed up in my dream. And he said, Jamie, be careful. Because as you're doing this, there the enemy will raise up against you. And I walked by another hotel room. And there was another person manifesting. They had a, you know how some hotel rooms have a little couch that you can sit on? That person was sitting on a little couch manifesting. So I thought, go in the room and get it out, right? <laughs> but it was a setup. I came into I came into the room to get it out. And when I came into the room, a demon slammed the door and closed the door behind me by itself. So I, I didn't see them but nobody else closed the door. The door slammed and the, and the person who was manifesting started laughing. All the lights of the hotel room turned off and the TV turned on next to him. And he started uh, morphing from between a person and a clown. And to me, that was symbolic for a mocking spirit and to try to scare me and intimidate me. And the guy would morph into a, a clown and start laughing and he would pop up and show up like this close to my face and um was laughing and when the tv turned on satan appeared on the tv with him because you got to know that satan can be at all places at all times and a tv turned on and basically they were telling me this is our time this is our time and you and your church that's raising up we got our eyes on you and pretty much was speaking to me and then just trying to intimidate me. They said, if you're going to stand in front of this thing and you're going to do what you're doing and say what you're saying, we're going to do everything to kill you. And um, while this was going on, it was so weird because I knew when it came to Satan to kind of just leave him alone. But when it came to the demons, though, inside of people, the Lord said, go after them. And so this this person who was manifesting a, a demon, and I get the sense this, this man was a warlock. I think that's why John Ramirez showed up in my dream to kind of give me an advance. The person was someone who, like how he used to be. I went up to the guy and... And he was manifesting his demons out. And I mean, the demon had full control of his body. And and I went to torment him. <laughs> I put my hand on his back. I said, I'm going to stir the pot. I command you to come up and out in Jesus' name. And I said, you'd be tormented by the name of Christ Jesus. And those demons were being tormented at the name of Jesus. And the person was convulsing. I said, and I'm not even going to finish getting you out. Because this is clearly an instrument of Satan. And he wants to be this way. But I'll, I'm going to. I said, this may be your time, but I will have the time of my life as as, as it's happening in your time. Satan didn't like that. I said that neither did the demons. I said, this may be your time, but I will have the time of my life during it and doing the, like, whatever the Lord calls me to do. And I walked out of the hotel room and I woke up and the dream ended. I woke up and I told my wife, and I, that's why I said I'm out here on Zoom. That's why my eyes are so red. But the reason why I'm sharing this is we have anointing. We have power and authority. But with that power and authority and anointing, there's a certain level of respect. Anointing respects anointing, right? That's why even some men of God who have fallen away and are anointed still respect them. And stuff because... 
Satan is still anointed. <laughs> he was given power and authority. And when tribulation comes, that is his time. But even though it may be his time, we will still be doing the Lord's will. We still need to stand firm. And one thing that stood out is when he showed up, the church was shaking and hiding. I was tempted to even hide, <laughs> but I didn't. And the times that are coming, we got to do what we're doing. And it shows that we have an anointing and an authority, but also understanding with Satan. Don't, es don't underestimate him. Don't underestimate him. And I'm not saying this, oh, this is a message from Satan because he's trying to make us, you know, feel some type of way towards him. No. The Bible says, do not be ignorant to the tactics of Satan. Right? And um, I just knew it was his time. I knew it was his time to come against the church like never before. And I knew that I had to have it to an extent. Stand firm, stand against him, but also having a level of respect. Like I said, even if Archangel Michael had a sense of respect um, because of what he's capable of doing, <laughs> you know, sometimes we're like, no, I have no respect for Satan. Why should I have respect for him? But yet you fall for his tactics and his temptations all the time. Why would you estimate the guy that you fall for all the time? So... But with that being said, his demons, go after them. <laughs> go after them all. And my dream, and, and with this, um, I hope that it wakes you up of what's coming and to stand firm. The waves may come, sorry. <laughs> the waves may come, problems may come, trials may come, but don't lose sight. Don't lose sight of what's coming. He gets in the dream of tsunami came, but what was coming behind it was even bigger, which was Satan himself. And he told me, I got my eyes on the church. I have my eyes on the on you guys. I'm watching what you're doing. And he was testing to see if we were gonna stand firm. I remember he told me, You want to stand in front of the church? I'm gonna make sure you die in front of them. And he has no authority to die unless he has permission from God. So I'm not saying this to put fear, but uh, to be vigilant, to be aware, and to pray. It's for something in the morning. You think I want to be up at this time sharing videos about Satan? But I needed to do this. So I hope that this um, awakens in you and makes you realize you have power and authority. Because one thing I did take away from this dream, the anointing that I had in my life and the way the Lord's presence was with me, um, I had so much authority. <laughs> and, and that came through Christ Jesus that demons couldn't handle it. So anyways, I'll end this video here. Uh, share it. Share it with somebody. Amen. God bless you guys.